Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is actually a, commu a community based video. So if you were looking at my community channel in like the past two days, I believe, I asked um, whatever has the most popular comment on a character or I guess a uh, team competition build versus whatever boss, I would do that as a video. The winner was a Grand Order um, type team that can solo a magnitude level raid. Well, he, he mentioned Metatron, that's Avatar, but I believe like a, a Metatron Avatar level raid, which I believe would be magnitude because they are magnitude. I wasn't really sure. Um, <laughs> To be honest, I wanted to avoid Metatron and Avatar specifically because they have 500 million health. And I don't want to be doing a like 45 minute video. So I went with Alex um, originally, actually. I made a, another community post of me doing a run, which I did clear with Alex. Uh, I ran Monkey, Anilla, and I believe Zoe, Light Zoe. And I actually cleared it nobody died um the only problem was that i didn't record it so i ended up i made a post and i put the picture and i thought it'd be kind of lame to you know do the same team again so i decided to change up the boss i decided to go with europa as you can see here and with going with europa i need to bring an earth unit so originally i thought about my hero but my hero is kind of garbage to be honest unfortunately so I was like, yeah, I don't want to bring her. So I thought, you know what? Let's bring Summer Alex. Now with Summer Alex, I know she's not technically a Zodiac, but you know what? She's officially a Zodiac for Earth now. Until my hero is five star, uh, my hero is a dead unit, and we, we're gonna go with Alex from now on. So I do remember that Alex gains uh, skill damage upon Ogying or skill two, Hildebrand. So I thought it'd be kind of entertaining for me to change up the build I was gonna do and kind of make it more skill oriented build and with that I decided to go with a rune slayer if you didn't know a rune slayer is ogi on the class weapon actually give you skill damage at the end of a turn kind of similar to alex so I thought it'd be kind of interesting to make an ogi build the reason I brought anilla was because I needed charge bar speed on the team and unfortunately anilla uh, andrea does not have skill uh charge bar speed up she only has auto based stuff and crit damage and debuff success rate. She doesn't have anything that really great for Ogis. So I ended up opting to bring Anilla over her, even though she would pretty much be better in most areas. Because I really wanted to get as much charge bar so that I can Ogi as much as possible. That's why Bajra is here as well, because it's, it's, this build is all about Ogiing. Um, Alex can protect most of the team and her skill too is ridiculous. So I wasn't really worried too much about bringing a fire unit. I did, actually didn't even heal much at all. Uh, I did use a pot early on because, you know, RNG, Anilla started getting body -wop, Um, So that's unfortunate. But I did use a uh, pot early on. But once the raid started going and I was able to rotate my summons between Gilgamesh and Alex, it was pretty easy. Uh, I may do this again in the future, depending on how well it's received. Uh, it, it was kind of fun. I actually enjoyed this one a lot more than the run I did with Alex and Monkey. Surely, be, purely because it was faster, for one thing. Um, because scale damage is actually pretty okay here in Grand Order. So it, it was overall faster. And I don't know. It was something different. I never really tried a skill-based damage build with Alex and main character. So I, I kind of enjoyed it. It was something different. So... Um, do tell me how you guys feel about it. I'm not gonna commentate the whole what 20 minute video. That's kind of ridiculous personally, so I may cut it off here. But thank you guys for watching. You can leave a like and stuff. That'd be great. Um, if you guys really want to see more community based like challenge type stuff where you like, I guess you give me a team comp and I would try to clear a raid that you suggest doing. I may try doing this again in the future. Um, since the game is kind of on like a chill, relax mode where there's not really like a bunch of new content coming until Guild Wars, I thought it'd be entertaining to try to change things up while we uh, are in this downtime period. So, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.